All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zach. And we are Real Time. Today, we got Queen Charlotte Episode 6, or the Queen Charlotte Finale. This one's called Crown Jewels. And I have been dreading this episode for a while now, just based off of the comments. Like, I'm excited to watch it, obviously. But from what you guys have said, it's going to be a rough one. Like, everyone says that they cried during this. So, like, I mean, you know me, you know Rob we will probably be crying maybe even get a zuff appearance in here i probably not but well i'll be here but i don't know <laughs> if my tears will be we'll see if they show up i'll try to make them happen yeah i mean right now where we're at we're probably like storyline probably like in the best spot we've been in because at the end of last episode charlotte like really stepped up and started taking her queen duties mm -hmm. very, very seriously she got sick of it she got sick of being cooped up in her um, house or whatever you want to call it and just sitting there to, to raise the baby not allowed to, to leave or do anything princess augusta is just watching over her like it was just horrible so she said we're going to queue i believe that's where mm -hmm. they're going queue and showed up found out what's been happening to george she's been in the dark the whole time about what's been happening and as most people have been i don't think a lot of people really know what's going on there besides like reynolds and a few people that work there but yeah, I mean, she saw him kicked Monroe out, and it seems like she's going to take over now and try her best to get him back to his normal shape, which is going to be tough, I think. But Yeah, I mean, that that was crazy, but that wasn't even the craziest thing that happened last episode. Um, Lady Danbury is banging Violet's dad, um, or oh, did bang Violet's dad, and just bragging to violet in the future days about how good her, the sex was back then how fierce she used to get and that is just crazy like i don't really i'm not a big fan of it. i know you guys aren't it's just it's just doesn't feel right like maybe because she was talking about those freaking paper crowns that uh um she makes for everyone violet makes for, for everyone on like their birthdays and she got that tradition from her dad who made one for lady danbury and she has one she was searching for it at the end of last episode and i don't know it's just so it's so weird i don't know if maybe vital figure it out sometime yeah that was that was a twist that was shocking i'm most interested just to see george this episode i just want i just want him to be okay um but i know that he's not going to be that that's like my biggest struggle right now um I'm curious to see how it ends with him in the past as well as the present. Um, the past, like they, they kind of referred to it earlier in the season. They said something like, oh, it happened when he was so young. Like, oh man, it's it was so long ago. So I feel like he's gonna be in this like weird state for a really, really long time. And he just comes in and out of it but but then it's also interesting to look at the present time because i mean this show takes place after like after bridgerton season two so it's like the most recent stuff we've seen so i'm really interested in seeing how they wrap everything up in the present like if that does involve george or not yeah um i was telling the boys yeah i know i was gonna say you had a theory go ahead uh i think well i don't think i it was just a thought maybe that um George, I could see them like just taking him out of like this is the way they take him out of Bridgerton because I mean they don't probably won't be as big of a deal if they show it in like the next season three of Bridgerton. So why not make it like this whole we learned about George? Why don't they might like just take him like his story maybe ends with Queen Charlotte is what I was thinking. And I think there's a good chance because we got a lot of future last episode, even with uh, Charlotte's sons. They both got, uh, they're both getting married, and maybe this episode George dies in the future. Yeah, I mean the whole show, she, the queen has just been asking, "Is the king dead? Is he dead?" Like she's been expecting this for a very, very long time. She, I think she wants it to happen. Yeah, I, I mean, I think like he, he had, he hasn't been George for a long time. She's probably already accepted his death and is just waiting for it to actually happen 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, before we get into this one. If you guys have enjoyed all of our Queen Charlotte reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But yeah, let's get into it. Queen Charlotte finale, episode six, Crown Jewels. Let's go. What's his name? Oh, dude, why do I have to see this guy again? Yeah, he's dead. If, if I have to see this guy again, let it be him getting executed. Inform me of the next course of treatment. I cannot. I cannot, as I am no longer His Majesty's doctor. Oh, nonsense. Of course you are. I have been dismissed. Dismissed? That is not possible. You think if she knew what was happening, she'd care? Surely, right? I don't know. I am so pleased you decided to ask me to join you on a walk. Did you get your garden loomed? I do enjoy the winter, but <laughs> I have been long for a stroll. Yes. <laughs> What's is, is Danbury even having a pep in her step lately, or is it just me? <laughs> is she going to find the hat? Well, she found the hat. Yeah, she's gonna right now. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Are these from your travel? Oh, the hat's here. It's a dead giveaway. She's gonna put it together. Yep. Is it up there? <laughs> Discoveries are everywhere. She's finding out, Rob. Mother nature is... She's found out. Were you shagging my dad? <laughs> Will his majesty be joining us soon? This George? Has oh, shoot. You may continue. <laughs> they are gone? Are you saying her majesty is not sitting for her portrait? <laughs> are, you, are you saying the crown is lying? Shall remain by your side. No. Charlotte, listen to my words. You should not have come. I do not want you here. Do you hear me? I said go back to Buckingham House. I don't think he knows what's good for him. That's like, I do not want you. I want never to see you. Leave. That is all cap, George. I order you. No, no, George. Charlotte. You cannot force me away. I will not go. I command it. Go. I will stay. I command it. Hmm. Please, Charlotte, please go. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to switch up now? Perhaps you stay away from me because you care for me. Perhaps you stay away because you love me. Do you love me? That, that was the original reason, right? You love me. I, I cannot. We cannot. This conversation isn't. I cannot do, do you this. Love me? I never wanted do to you marry. Love me? I never, oh. This is because you do not believe that I could love you. I do. I love you, George. Ah. Uh. I love you. If you do not love me, all you have to say is that you do not love me, and I will go. I will go back to Buckingham House, and we can live our separate lives, and I will have this baby alone. First, you have to say that you do not love me. You can't say that. He would be lying. I am a danger. In my mind, there are different worlds creeping in. I, the heavens and the earth collide. I, I do not know where I am. Do you love me? You do not wish a life with me for yourself. I will stand with you between the heavens and the earth. I will tell you where you are. Do you love me? I love you! Ah. Uh, from the moment... From the moment I saw you trying to go over the wall. crazy right now. Very good. Not breathe when you want not. Nia, I love you, Charlotte. My heart calls your name. Beautiful. Maybe we're supposed to get tears of joy. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> I hope so. I don't think so. This madness has been my secret my entire life. This darkness is, is my burden. We can do this together. Dude, she is she just perfect for him. He just never needed to get tortured. <laughs> Leeches, freaking! What was that thing they call when you put it on the with the heat? Branding. Branding. Yeah, we... <laughs> when they put it on you with the heat, I love that. I love George. Your cloak makes a fine blanket if you decide to have solitude on the ground. Cool. <laughs> he was kind. Are we gonna do like a little sex montage? Oh, who's he with? Violet? Oh. 
That's so awkward. I wish we might see one another again, but I understand how busy you are. And how busy you are. With Violet. Perhaps one day she will have an unimpeachable reputation much like yours. It does grow up pretty well. I wish you much happiness on this fine day. I wish you happiness as well on this day. <laughs> I'm confused. Why did he have to bring Violet? I don't... Was that like his way of saying, like, we can't do this anymore? Oh, yeah. this It's it's over here. Dude, but the way she was talking was like, yo, when I started banging, like, I was banging good yeah. a lot for a while. It's, that's what I got from it. I don't know. I think they will bang. I will let Parliament know he is available for an address. Of course. Oh, he got to speak? Last episode with John Wahlberg, a living legend. We come on behalf of all of us, your children. You represent the family, do you? Your baby race is cruel. Cruel? You focus on nothing else. Georgie is grieving. Yet you have shown him not one moment of real kindness. Do you know how hard we have worked to provide you with your precious air? Do you know how many babies I have lost before? Damn, dude. Fuck. You lost babies? We have all lost... Damn, Charlotte, they've been trying. I know each one of you can rise to the occasion. You do not know us. Any of us. You do not learn about us. You do not care for what we care for. That's your mother. You have never been a mother. Damn. I have been an excellent mother. No. You have been our queen. But you have never really been our mother. Damn. That's so oh. sad to hear. It might be the truth. It's probably the truth, though. Yeah. His Majesty has good days and down days. He did. Now that I am here, his days are good. He is well. Nah, uh, that's not how it's going to work, Charlotte. But perhaps caution would be... Reynolds, let him be. All he needed was his wife and a routine to get rid of that dreadful doctor. Something's going to happen. I feel like something crazy is should, going to happen. You should really listen to Reynolds. He's by far with him the most, knows him the best, I think. If at last they would help one another, they would be together, have a marriage, grow old as one. We would serve them together. A lifetime. Yeah, their like, love story kind of depends on these two staying together, too. We do not see Reynolds in the future. I mean, he's probably just by the king's bedside, you know what I mean? Like, because he's always just away. I think we have seen him. Maybe, but not like a prominent yeah. character at all. Nothing we would remember. Thank you for paying me a visit, Lady Danbury. I feel like Princess Dan R or Dowry is not up to good. <laughs> Dowager. You keep saying Dowry. Not up to good. I am sure I could expedite your answer. If you have information that may be useful. Got a rat on the queen to get her title. Well, I'm hearing that the palace stands not on firm ground, that the king is ill. Wow. Orals heard this? The king is not receiving visitors at this time. <laughs> I am not a visitor. You are most welcome to return some other time in the future. I am here now. Oh, this is a fucking battle. It could be considered treason if you do not allow me to see him. The king does not wish to receive at this time. You dare to speak for him. You are not the king. No, but I am your queen. Yeah. You certainly have become comfortable. <laughs> you chose me well. Mm. I love it. She sure did. From the moment a king is born, there is no hiding for him. There is no room for illness or weakness. There is only power. He is not even trying, and you are allowing it. He has people. He must rule. I feel like he could say something, right? Like, just pop in, just what's up, and get out? Like, maybe. Like, if you're, if you're the king, you really can't just hide. You I feel like say nothing. I feel like that kind of situation is what yeah, gives him anxiety, though, sure. and freaks him out. But maybe if she's by his side, it, it would be all right? I was... A most extraordinary mother. I was a most <laughs> extraordinary mother. You are the greatest of queens, yet you share one trait in common with all of the people here. 
You serve one person, the king. That is not a flaw, it is a gift. Brimsley, have you any family? You don't know any that about Brimsley? Did you never marry? No, your majesty. Who could I ever find who would be free to spend a lifetime with me? I'm here. Yeah, dude, if that's your job... Everyone here cares for the king. Ah. Uh, hey, you're kind of just giving up your life. That's the first time she's asked that? It's not great, but I, I'm sure after whatever happens to George, flips a switch. I have missed your company. Tell me, what have I missed while I was away? Sex. Is there anything I can do? My title? I have asked the royal physician. And he says getting a baby out of me shall be quick and painless. Ah. Does it hurt? Having children is the worst pain imaginable. I knew it. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Only hurts a little. It's quite a lot, I'm sure. This may be my favorite place in all of London. Oh no. Violet's probably fucking going crazy right now. I wanted to feel alive. So there was some after your tampering. <laughs> I have lived a life. Violet, I don't think you just I I wouldn't I would stop. I don't think you want to know this. I have loved and been loved. And that is all I shall say. Did I ever tell you about the Queen's brother? What is she gonna say her and Adolphus? Adolphus. No way. Uh, with the birth, it seems I may be in England longer than I expected. I mean, it wasn't just one jet. Yeah, cool. I would like that very much. Okay, Adolphus, <laughs> making his I, move. I I had a like feeling that the first time they saw each other, I saw him looking at her like that. Perhaps you need a bit of distraction. Distraction. Yes. I believe that I have just the distraction <laughs> to help. I do not Ooh. need distraction. What I need is to deliver a perfect speech before all of Parliament. Or do you wish me to no longer be king? <laughs> he is so cool! It might be best if we left the distractions for another time. George. Stop. Charlotte. Oh, oh. This is coming. Oh, no. no. For real? Oh, my God, right now? I was coming. Your Majesty. Surely you are not entering the, the there is womanly work afoot. We wait out here. Just go in, George. You're allowed to go in. See, she's asking for you. He cannot be in there. Your Majesty. Yeah, we do things a little different around here now. Get the fuck you out of his Archbishop way. Of Canterbury? <laughs> Would you like to remain Archbishop of Canterbury? Your Majesty, do you believe you can remain Archbishop by defying the head of the Church of England? Move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what I saw. What? <laughs> oh, the baby. He's. Uh, it's so cool that Lady Danbury is here. How are they so sure that the baby's a boy? Uh, you have been here before, yes? Four times, Your Majesty. And what are your thoughts? She's losing blood. That is natural. All normal. No. Doctor, were we to leave all decisions to nature? Just surely you would. Oh, oh, oh. I'm oh, getting sick. Show me the blood. I'm getting sick oh. thinking about I'm this. joking. <laughs> um, I, if you knew me, you knew I passed out while seeing oh. blood. <laughs> Hope I get to know you soon. <laughs> there are ways to aid in this situation, are there not? There are methods, yes. However, with a royal. Patient, Prepare them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I believe we shall need you moved. Just that's the edge. When I'm here, dude, I can't imagine. Like, back. childbirth is already so rough now. Mm. Imagine back then, like, people died frequently. Yep. <laughs> Baby's here. Baby's here. Boy or girl? He is pregnant. Hey. That's. I think that's George, Prince George, the one who's uh. Girl died. He is a very strong baby. <laughs> Intelligent. You are a donkey. The they both look sick, actually. I just had a bad thought. What? I was thinking, maybe, what if, like, we don't know? What if this child isn't alive? Like, what if George somehow kills it when he's going, like, 
he has an episode like drops it or you know what i mean uh that would be really sad that would be very sad i don't want that to happen. i know that's, that's what i'm saying that, could, here. that could be that. one of the reasons it's so hard to watch <laughs> A couple that could never be. Would it not be a shame for you to lose the very fine estate in which you now reside? Mm. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you made her cry, bro. What do you mean, stop it? If you ever cry, I'm going to go, stop it, throw Stop it. Stop it. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> got the, got the, got the. <laughs> I had to throw myself on the mercy of his father. A cruel, evil man. Are we going to get another go back in time? What if they do Princess Augusta? A Bridgerton story. <laughs> I don't I might, care about I her story. Skip that yeah. one. <laughs> you have been an admirable adversary thus far. Our battles bring me satisfaction. <laughs> She's enjoying these Just stalemates. He likes competing against her. Cover your bruises and endure. Do not lose control of your fate, Agatha. This is kind of crazy. How goes life at Buckingham House? Hmm. I believe that news depends on what is to become of my son's title. Your Highness. Control your fate, baby. That's the most important thing. Whoa. The king. He's about to speak in front of parliament. I am so freaking worried for this man. Reynolds? No. Oh, the king. Oh my gosh. He, so, I just think he's precious. <laughs> That's a cool word for him. I think he's so precious. I was with the baby. Uh oh. I'm not he's shaking. Late. Plenty of time. You are ready. Oh, it's gonna go bad. It's gonna go bad. Fuck. Baby, oh. I don't know. What if he starts doing bad and like she helps him? I don't think she's gonna be there. What if he like looks at her and locks eyes and is like, "I'm really good now." <laughs> I just have a feeling he's gonna get, he's gonna fuck this up. I really don't want him to though. Oh, he's so nervous. But he needs a cell phone. Why? To call Charlotte. Charlotte should just came. Just one cell phone though. She doesn't, she doesn't have one. Need one. George, he's not good doing well. Did he lock himself in the carriage? No. No one can see this, Reynolds. Reynolds is about to go huge. What was it? Did his speech not go well? His Majesty did not deliver. Ah. Oh. What did you do? He seemed quite fine when he left. He was not fine. Oh, don't talk back to the Queen, Reynolds. George, it is me. George. Where is he? Probably like curled up in a ball under the bed. I'm sorry. Definitely under the bed. Wow, that was cool. Get under there. She might not be able to fit. No heavens. They cannot find me under here. I am hiding. I could not get out of the carriage. I could not even read the words on the page. I'm not a king. There is no better. There is no kill. This is who I am. I will be here. Sometimes, and sometimes I will. Mm, this is so sad to accept. You have half a husband, Charlotte. Half a life. Only half. Half a man. Half a king. If what we have is half, then we shall make it the very best half. I love you. It is enough. I am your queen. And as long as I am so, I shall never leave your side. I just want to feel optimistic, but I can't because we just know it's not good. You know.
Like, there's just not a happy ending here. This is quite dust, She's so fucking good for him, dude. I'm so sorry that I did not give you the choice. That I did not tell you the truth of who I was before we went. You did tell me the truth. You said you were just George. That is who you are. If the crown cannot go to Parliament. Bring Parliament to the crown. Parliament to the crown. Huh. Perhaps it is time we opened up the doors to Buckingham House. Smart. You shall see one another again on your next visit. No, I... <clears throat> I want you to come with me. Would you consider returning home with me as my wife? Damn. He likes Lord Ledger. <laughs> that look they had. I know, I know. She it's wanted this before, earlier in the episode, just but... To court, but... We know she does not do this. I feel it. And I believe we could be happy together. It's all for Think on it. That wasn't bad, Adolphus. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, best you can do for proposing right away. Let the cook know that I am inviting Lady Danbury to tea on Friday. Violet just kills Lady Danbury during the show. Oh, <laughs> Some people just decided not to watch this one. She's just dead in season three. How goes His Majesty's medical state? He is in fine form. So says his doctor. I have control. You're slipping here, princess. This ball is his first social appearance. The king must be. The king. He has Charlotte with him. I think he's fine. For like a little bit, right? In small doses, yeah. He's plopping another one in there, I think, as we speak. I mean, dude, she had 15 kids. Like, you kind of have to go like immediately after the other, right? Pretty quick pace, yeah. <laughs> you know who's gonna be here? Danbury and Lord Ledger. That'll be awkward. Well, they are both there. The flowers are wrong. They're not wrong. They're not the correct color palette. Oh, it's due to the color palette because I believe this is the Queen's choice. Yes, this is His Majesty's ball. She is the hostess. She is the king. She is the queen. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I see those? <laughs> Brimsley. How the hell is their story gonna end? I don't know. Imagine staying at the palace when we come to visit. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing my German. You would be a queen. Never know a moment's worry when you're a royal. Stop talking, Coral! Oh, jeez. Oh, you are going to say yes to his proposal. Good night, Coral. GN Coral. Look at you. You are a red jewel. Crown's jewels. Oh. Shall have just days together. You can't lose. Oh look, there's Lady Danbury. She looks marvelous. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh Violet, sweet summer child. Their Majesties, the King and Queen. <laughs> Everyone's got a sick voice. Like the a perfect King voice and for that. Queen. Real deep. Do not feel any less. Do I not seem quite fine? You are hurting my hand. All right. I mean, does he have to give a speech? Oh, no, please. Nobody gets me. You and me. Can they like fall into a wormhole or something that gives them a happy ending, like an alternate universe type thing? Oh, 
Uh -uh. Do we have to go into the future that we know? We need to be in the universe that John Wahlberg exists in. <laughs> that is the key. Oh, uh, he seems really good right now. Man, does that make me worry for what could happen. Oh no, it's gonna be so fucked up. Or maybe it's happened. Maybe it's not like as sad as we think it's gonna be. I mean, he's still the king in the yeah, present day. But literally half the time we see the queen, it's her going, Is the king dead? Is he dead? Wow. I feel like this might be the last time that like the people ever see George out in public. We thank you all for joining us. Mm. To celebrate the Please arrival just of our new prince. Go well. Unsurprisingly, given I am the third, we have chosen to name him George the Fourth. So it is George. To your future king. The fuck are you doing there, John? Giving him the stare down. <laughs> Why does he look like that? What the hell was that, John Wahlberg? He is a fucked up man. That was a weird ass <laughs> look. He was evil. So he gave the speech, right? Yeah. That was that he didn't need to, he just needed to address the new king. You dislike crowds as much as I do. Another way we are a match. I dislike you, Adolphus. It would be nice to be happy for myself Bro. as well. And I feel but I mean he's doing a good job. I think he's being a bit pick me right now though. Another reason we're a perfect match. I would rule, of course, but you would have certain duties as well. We are more egalitarian there. Most of the wives at court are older than you, but, but you will like them. Once you learn the language, it means you can have more children. More children. Everything about that just didn't sound great. Mm -mm. There will be festivals and balls and charities and... and... No. <laughs> no. She doesn't want to do that shit, bro. I cannot marry you. She has to stay here. You... A oh, wonderful man, and something in me had been awakened, so I felt hopeful. He would have saved me from a thousand different problems. He would have rescued me. Just bad timing on on. Mm -hmm. Is it because of Lord Ledger? I feel like that's probably part of it. I never want to be married again. That office, I spent my life breathing someone else's air. I do not know any other yeah, way. Yeah, she now, just doesn't want to. It is time that I like be with anyone. She just wants to be independent. This is a terrible mistake you are making. I don't know. It turned out pretty well. And in two seasons, I have not heard your name, Adolphus. I feel bad for him, though. It is what it is. He'll he'll find another for sure. He's Adolphus. I have only ever wanted him to be happy. He is happy. You make him happy. Facts. Truest thing she's ever said. Yep. Thank you. Facts. There oh, we go. Oh, the respect has been given. The torch has been passed. King George is here. Handsome as ever. <laughs> oh, hey. look at these guys. They really just like take some risks here doing this. Oh, oh yeah, this is a good song. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look, this is gonna be their. Oh. oh, Brimsley. My sweet soul. Oh. Don't <laughs> fucking do this <laughs> to no, me. No, no, no. What are you doing rustling about out here? How dare you step away from your duties? Apologies, sir. Her Majesty has visitors. You have delivered your message. You may go. I don't think that's for him. No, 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 it's not, it's not. I only thought that for a second. As soon as he freaked out, I was like, oh, okay, it's not him. Who's visiting the Queen right now? Oh, that makes me sad that Reynolds isn't around anymore. He's... Or he I can't think... leave the King's side. One or the other. Probably not around, though. I think he's probably dead. That would be torture. Dead? <laughs> I yeah. don't know if he's dead. I think he would be with Brimsley if he was alive. Have you come to complain? Nor have you come to see the new portrait? No, mother. We... Well... 
or a child. We come bearing news. Your Majesty. Are you quite sure? Yes, Your Majesty. You will have your heir, mother. Okay. I'm super happy, but this chick is such a rand. Both of these two are randos, but good for them. We gotta keep the line going. Victoria thinks it will be a girl. And a strong queen is just what this country needs. <laughs> Dude, her hair is unreal right now. It's unreal every time. This I mean, time it's like two different. I just love it. I love it every. Like I don't know. I just love the when it's gray like this. I think it's such a cool color. Ah, oh, being mom, Charlotte, not Queen Charlotte. I kind of feel bad though. This is the first time he's got. I know. When he has an heir, much as I love Charlotte. Thank you so very much for the. You refused my brother. Give him hope of union. He is, however, a person of fine character and pure heart you gotta be kidding right tell me what i might do in order to first will survive what concerns me is what i am to do with you the fact that you did not come to me with your concerns I thought we were friends title it's the fate of your family of all the families recently titled i apologize your majesty she's gonna help help her with the title i suggest you shift your fear into faith and come to us with your concerns directly. To do otherwise would suggest we are incapable of addressing them. Unless that is what you believe. Lady Danbury. Ooh, you get to keep your title. Ah, indulge. For once, for me. I'm ordering you. All right, all right. Someone who will drink with me. I will not. You refuse me as well? I do. Nonsense, you must. I must not. With child. For a while. Oh. Mm -hmm. Again, dude? The fates of too many rest on us securing your line. Our line. You and me. And them. And them. All 15 of them. Mm hmm. <laughs> I was worrying this. I was wondering if this was going to happen. Sit over here. Oh, those! Those are my birthday. <laughs> she left them all out. <laughs> you keep them all on display. I did not always, but today I, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, do you know? What if she just slaps her? However, they are filled with memories. <laughs> you gotta be feeling pretty guilty right now, here, Lady Danbury. Oh. oh, goodness. <laughs> we should sit. <laughs> Violet. Mm. Believe you should leave the hats where they are. They are lovely. Cheerful. <laughs> are we just not going to talk about it? We know, but we're just not going to talk about it. The elephant is filling up this room right now. Yeah, they're going to talk about it. Will they? Yeah, they, she just wanted to leave them out. Huh? She just wanted her to leave them out. I still think they're going to talk about it. Like, they sat down with the intention to talk. Do not hover, Grimsley. I'm quite capable of seeing him on my own. Oh, oh shit. George shit. Today. I don't. Dude, if he, if he, like, is sentient and, like, himself, I'm going to fucking oh, ball my head still... on. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready. George, do not bother me in, in, in the sky. George, it is me. It is your Charlotte. George? Ah, uh, he's not coming back. Under the bed. Oh, dude, you're gonna fucking crush me. Just George. Farmer George. Hide from the heavens with me. Ah. Uh. Oh, hello. Hello, George. It is quiet here. We have succeeded. He has married and his wife <gasps> is with child. 
your line will live on. Our line. Our line. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good fucking lord, dude. Holy fuck. I was like about to laugh how hard I was holding back tears. <laughs> like it was so bad. Oh my god. They were happy tears. <laughs> you did not go over the wall. No, George. I did not go over the wall. That was a rough one. <laughs> that was a rough one. Jesus Christ. I, I that's how it ends. <sighs> okay. Well, um, that was the scene that people were talking about. And I thought it was going to be a different type of tears. Like, it was bit, uh, bittersweet. Is that the word? Like, it was so hard to watch. But like when they brought him, I don't know, dude. It's like they succeeded. That the, the air is here, but like ugh, I don't know, dude. Just when they like brought back the younger versions, it was getting me before then. That really got me. Um, it just sucks, dude. I don't know. I'm gonna start crying again talking about it. But someone else talk, please. <laughs> I don't want to talk right now, actually. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you could tell by our reaction that last scene was insane. Probably one of the craziest endings to a show ever. That was just so emotional, so intense. But it just, like, I feel like it is a happy ending, sort of. Like, it's as happy as it, as they were going to get, I feel like. I, th I think it's so cool that they, they have that, like, little place under the bed that they can go to. And like, they're still them, which is really sweet. Uh, I was worried that George was just like gonna be forever gone, or like I feel like th this whole show we were kind of expecting there to be like this event that took place that like changed him forever, but that never really happened. It was just like a gradual type of thing. But I don't think Monroe helped though. Fuck no, he definitely set up the process and or made it worse for sure. Imagine, like, if those weeks or months that he spent with Monroe was spent with just being with Charlotte and being happy, he would be he would have been so much better off. Yeah, I do agree, though, that it was, uh, what's the word? It was, like, always going to happen. Like, it was inevitable. Inevitable, like. He, he was always going to be sick. Like, he told her, like, I've always been like this. Like, I didn't, g I knew going into it, I didn't give you an, an option or, like, even, like, a heads up about who I am, like. From knowing, um, like, George and Bridgerton, I just thought, like, watching this, like, show, I thought the illness was, like, way different. I didn't expect it to be what it was, which is cr crazy, because, like, even, like, he went under the bed when he was old, and he was perfectly normal, perfectly fine. Just crazy how, I just don't understand what that illness is. He's, the heavens, they come and take over his mind. Yeah, I mean, I, I think as far as, like, the bed, it's, like, their one probably safe space, mm -hmm. especially because that moment they had, but, uh, I mean, I, I know, like, people commented, like, if we knew our history, like, we would know, like, King George was yeah. called, like, the, the Mad King or whatever, mm -hmm. um, so we don't know our history, but I think it was so long ago that you can't really, like, tell exactly what it was, like, I'm sure today if there was a if the king had that mm -hmm. they would 
hundred percent be able to figure out what is wrong with him. Mm -hmm. But back then it was all like, I mean, if they called him the, like a madman, it's like, that's what they said. You were mad. You yeah. were, you were crazy. You were sick. Like they didn't really look too deep into it and try to like figure it out. Like obviously we saw the, the best option that they went was torturing him because they had no clue what to do. So it, it's, it's horrible. Cause I feel like whatever he had, could have been way better managed with like medicine or something mm -hmm. and could have helped him lead a normal life but it's just the times and yeah i but i, I did really love how charlotte was like his like uh not cure but like dress ball like his uh, anchor like his yeah rock. like she like calmed him down i'm sure like it was only a limited amount and then after a while like uh, I just can't imagine like seeing some of the stuff this episode it was a long episode like mm -hmm. we got to see a lot like him not being able to deliver that speech to parliament just curled up like oh my god it was nice learning about uh Danbury and Violet I think they sat down and they're ready to have that talk so I wonder how what Br the new Bridgerton season is gonna be like with them too I'm sure they'll still be friends uh but I do think, like, when Danbury looked at Violet and said, Violet, like, it, it was their intending to talk about that. I honestly took it more as, like, as, like, we, like, we both know, like, what's, like, it's, like, an unsaid thing, honestly. I could be wrong. Let us know what you guys think. I'm, I'm sure it's, like, not, like, a specific answer if they actually talked about it or not. But I interpret it, like... I know it's cool, but let's not, we don't have to talk about it. It was a weird plot line though. Yeah. yeah. Super weird. Regardless of what happened. Uh, I, I didn't really, it wasn't that cool. Um, I mean, but Charlotte and George, like they, they've got to be in the contention for the best Bridgerton couple, right? Like, yeah. <sighs> but it, it's kind of unfair that they've lived a whole life though. Like, I, I think, I guess, yeah, one of my favorite parts was like at the end there, knowing that like they still mm -hmm. have each other and she's <laughs> made it work without him. Yeah, I, I would definitely I would, none of none of the other characters have, have had the opportunity to have a scene like that yet. Like that no. was that was literally like how like their entire lives built mm -hmm. up for that moment. It's just so, so good. I'd still take Kate and Anthony. Yeah, it is hard to compare, but they're definitely better than Simon and Daphne. Yeah, though. they're one or two. There, I, sure. I would, it would go two. one, two, three, and Daphne and Simon being last, and Anthony and Kate being. I just that was my favorite. I just like the love there. I, like, I get that uh, Charlotte and George loved each other, but I still just didn't feel as much like. I don't know. I felt like warm and fuzzy inside when I was watching Kate and Anthony. I didn't get the feeling with. Well, them. I feel like this this season definitely was like supposed to be like darker and like not as not as happy. Like I feel like for the most part, it really wasn't too happy or upbeat. Whereas like the yeah. other Bridgerton seasons are all about like we're getting our happy ending. Like this is our happy ending. I don't know. The parts of the Anthony was super sad, especially it was. when the bee was on Kate. And like, we learned about how like that was pretty dark and scary. I just, I don't, at the end with the fireworks, mm, I love like the wrecking ball was playing and the, and they danced together. It was my favorite. Yeah. I, I think I could see saying that like that one, the love story or like the love was felt better which it's probably supposed to but like i think the story of this mm -hmm. is incomparable to oh yeah that just because also like the whole stuff with like how charlotte was like ripped out of her hometown to like yeah. come be the queen of a country who a guy she doesn't know she doesn't want to do it is set on him being a troll and not falling in love with him and then to find out like to eventually meet george like just George and realize like the kind of guy he is and the life he's had to endure. I think I thought it was amazing. It gives me a whole new level of respect for Queen Charlotte. For real, dude. But I still am not sure about her with her kids though, honestly. Yeah. Like I didn't really There's room for improvement there. Yeah. It seemed like she was kinda like 
oblivious to how she raised but then i, I mean I, I know like she had to be the queen and i'm i can't imagine being the queen of a country but uh and having seemed, to like live with george and like help george yeah. constantly maintain his mental health my whole thing was that she just like claimed she was like i was the best mother yeah it's like ah, where are I, you? Like, I like how brimsley kept it real with her he's like you were only like that with with george like you're only sweet with him you're just everybody else's queen speaking of brimsley he had a storyline this <sighs> this show that we he was a pretty like untouched character throughout first two seasons of Bridgerton. I really liked him and Reynolds. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really cute. I don't think Reynolds is around because he wasn't next to the king at the end. I think that the whole like them dancing and him fading and Brimsley yeah. being there was kind of the metaphor that or, or like the visual aid of them saying he is not alive anymore. He's not around anymore. Which is a shame. That's heartbreaking. They were they were a one true pair as well. I feel like Brimsley probably wasn't too interested in anybody else. It was so unfortunate because like one, their job was like I was saying like, mm -hmm. if you're if that's your job, you're giving up your whole life. Like he said to the queen, like who who would have who would I have time for? Like you have to always be at her service. Uh, obviously they slipped off a little bit, but also like they're gay, so like yeah. They couldn't have been together if they were just normal people too so like mm -hmm. it was just a very unfortunate situation like it's a very sad storyline too if you think about it all right guys that's pretty much it though for queen charlotte thank you guys so much for watching along with us hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe check our links in the description we got the patreon the discord our social medias and the address to our po box down there but yeah we will catch you guys in the next show that we watch peace out